hybrid fleets are here to stay, that's for sure. And the question is how do companies actually operate and why do they operate mixed fleets and hybrid fleets? So one main reason is they want to leverage the capabilities and unique strength of each AMR based on their requirements and don't want to make compromises. So that in fact there is no vendor in the market who can actually fulfill all the different customer requirements, especially on a globally basis starting from the vehicle capabilities itself, but also ranging to the entire service coverage in a certain area, in a certain region, which is not always provided. So that's why you need to operate mixed fleet. It's also another fact that you as a customer, as a business, want to have the maximum efficiency and also scalability. So that's why you want to follow the so-called best of breed principle to always use and incorporate and use the most suitable AMR, AGV for your operations. No compromises are wanted to be made. And the last one is you want to minimize the dependency on one single vendor and you also want to minimize and reduce the risk of being on a so-called vendor lock-in effect to gain and actually maintain the maximum flexibility. All, everything under the umbrella, I would say, on efficiency and flexibility. That's why hybrid fleets are here to stay. So there are challenges associated to, to managing hybrid fleets and that is something which we need to solve and I want to highlight actually two uh, challenges for, it for it, uh, today and the one is the missing of interoperability between various systems. That is something which is essential but based on the nature of an AMR by you know using different vendors that's the main nature that you operate in silos with different fleet management solutions and there is a lack of interoperability which is essential to achieve the operator's needs and to find a way to seamlessly communicate with each other. That is a big challenge. The second one is that actually the technical integration of different vendors. It's not that they only operating in their silos, it's also the technical integration of AMRs and that requires a certain amount of time, effort, work to be done by technical expertise and technical resources and that even if standards apply and these are two challenges I want to highlight for today. What role it plays uh, to have standards in the AMR business like the VDA 5050 is a very crucial one because it actually creates the technical foundation to break up the silos we normally see operations of AMRs working in and building the foundation and the interoperability which is required to actually facilitate the efficiency and flexibility of mixed hybrid AMR and AGV fleets. It for, for that it kind of uh, in, enables the seamless communication. I'm always talking about speaking the same language and the same dialect. That is exactly why standards are so crucial because it limits the risks and minimizes the risk on the customer side to actually integrate and scale with different vendors and therefore following the best of breed principle to get really the most suitable AMR. So they are standards in general, but especially the VDA 5050, setting the scene, setting the foundation for these communications is a very crucial role in the scalability of hybrid fleets. So the question is how do modern fleet management systems such as the Kinexon fleet management system help customers and companies to orchestrate, control, monitor, hybrid fleets is actually the, the, the core of what we're doing from a fleet management perspective. We are providing and enabling the customer to break up the silos, to work in a unified area, let's keep it that way, with the AMRs from different vendors on one single level. So that means that we're enabling the scalability of the systems and the AMR operations to further drive automation. We have with the VDA 5050 standard, a standard which also drives from a customer AMR perspective the scalability, the efficiency also of the fleet itself. And we have the situation that we have, or the capabilities actually, that we also minimize manual efforts by incorporating um, low-code, no-code approaches, but also in the future AI capabilities to have a physical touch point on AI to minimize manual efforts. And there's a third one, which is the uh, analytics and monitoring capabilities coming with such 
um, fleet management solutions such as the Kinex of Fleet Manager, giving you a holistic overview of the entire fleet in one single view and not kind of distributed in many different levels, silos, programs, and so on. So you have a unique, holistic view and orchestration, including control and management.